Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can get your own iPhone dynamic spot on your Samsung. So first of all, what we want to do is we want to head over to our Play Store. Once we head over to Play Store, we can then go to the search bar there and then we need to search for dynamic spot. Once we search for this, as you can see at the top of this page right here, there is an option now for dynamic island dash dynamic spot. Click on this to install this. Obviously, it will probably take a couple of seconds, but once it's installed, we can then click on open. Once we click on open, just give it a couple of seconds just to run through the initiation and obviously the startup. Click on next. And then once we are on this page right here, we need to enable a couple of permissions just to enable the dynamic island. So let's just go over to this. Once we are on this page right here, what we need to do is we need to find dynamic spot. So let's just scroll down a little bit until we find it. As you can see, it is right here. And now you need to enable permissions on this. And then we need to go all the way back. Go to the next one. So notification access. Click on this. And then we now need to again select dynamic spot. Turn this on. Click on allow. And then now what we need to do is we need to enable draw on screen. So click on that one. Click on next. And then what we can do then is we can go to obviously installed apps and then click on dynamic spot. And then we need to enable this by clicking and making it on. So click on allow. As you can see, all of this is now done. So you can click on done, click on allow. And then what we have done then, let's just go back and just do this one second. So dynamic spot, turn this on, click on allow. And then now we can click on done. So once you're on this page here and you've gone through all of these steps, what you can do now is you can go through and sort of customize this. So what we could do is we could click on the position. We could make it obviously go further down or further up, whichever you prefer. You can position it as and wherever you like. We can go back then. We can go to appearance and you can obviously go ahead and enable any of these options right here. Some of those are paid, but a lot of them are also free. So that's how you can go ahead and get your own dynamic island on your Samsung phone guys. If this video did help you out, please leave a like on today's video and I will see you in the next one.